Hey, what's up guys? Well, I'm sure most of you probably heard about the dumb FAA rule where you have to have an aircraft that's less than about 250 grams to fly without registering yourself. So, I've been working on building up my little air force that I can have, that I can fly, that I don't have to register myself. Uh, so I thought I'd kind of show you what I've got. And uh, the highlight of this video is going to be this guy right here, the Sky King. It's a WL Toys. I think it's 959 or 595 uh, is the model. So anyway, uh, 250 grams, right? So they say it's about two sticks of butter. So here we got my FAA scale. So uh, the first one that I've been flying for a while is this little drone. It's got a camera on it. It's a quadcopter. And that one is definitely lighter than two sticks of butter, so I can fly that. Another one that I've had for quite a while, and this was actually purchased before the whole dumb drone regulation, is this little, uh, actually I think this is WL Toys helicopter as well. That's a 3D capable helicopter that I can also fly. Uh, another one that I purchased uh, recently is this one. Now this is what I was hoping uh, would be my plane that I could just take to parks and fly wherever. Um, and it sort of is, but it's, it's a little bit harder to fly than I was hoping. So then I got this one instead. But of course, this one right here, this is like the Fui -E or something like that, F-22. Uh, it's a pretty capable little aircraft that's got uh, gyros on it that keep it stable, different flight modes for beginners. This is definitely lighter than 250 grams. Now this one, here's the star of this video here. This is the WL Toys um, pusher glider. This is, this is a blast to fly. This is a lot of fun. And as we can see, it's also lighter weight than two sticks of butter. So you can definitely fly this one. Um, so yeah, this one really fits the bill. I've had a lot of fun with this. I actually, I flew it at night too because you can buy it with LEDs, which is really awesome. Um, that was on my bucket list to do for quite a while is to do a night flight. Um, so this you can do that with. And I mean the price, shoot, this is like toy price for like 57, 60 bucks, I think shipped to your door if you're in the US. You get this plane ready to fly and uh, it's it can't get any ears to put it together. You don't need any sort of glue or any kind of tools. You just pop the wings together, charge the battery, and it's ready to go. Um, really good fit and finish on this plane. Um, again, it's really, it's more like good or decent quality RC grade stuff, um, except for maybe the transmitter, but uh, you know, what can you expect for 60 bucks? But the plane itself, I'm really, I'm really impressed with. It's nice quality. Um, it actually has areas here where you could, if you wanted to, I suppose, um, put in some working ailerons. So this is just a three channel plane, um, which makes it, you know, good for a very beginner, somebody who doesn't quite understand the whole, you know, how to bank the plane and uh, fly it that way. Um, so it is a little bit better. You can basically, once you get the throttle going, you can fly it with, with one stick, one thumb, and it's pretty easy to fly, which you'll see in the videos. This plane does also come with a little adapter uh, that you can set right here, which apparently uh, WL Toys sells a camera, which will plug right into the board on this plane. And I guess basically that'll power, power the camera. So it's a little camera that you can stick an SD card into. Some, somebody else has already done a video where they've shown the quality of that camera. Um, it's pretty good, you know, I mean, if, if you're interested in getting into putting cameras on planes and just checking out the view, I mean, what a great place to start. Um, I've had this plane up, you know, like 400 feet. Uh, it's a good height for it. And um, it's just, it's a good plane for, if you wanna go to like a large park and fly. Um, so you can fly in a kind of smaller area if you want to, um, but it'll also handle a little bit of wind, which you'll see in the video, so you can take it out to a larger area and fly it. So this is not strictly an indoor plane. In fact, I'd almost call this a little bit big to be an indoor flyer. Um, you can do it, but based on the size of it, and you know, kind of how much space it takes to do the more uh, fun and graceful turns, I would definitely consider it an, an outside, uh, light breezy day kind of flyer. So we'll check out the video and I'll uh, show you how it goes. But again, if you're looking for a plane that you don't have to register yourself, you don't have to worry about any stupid FAA drone regulation rules, uh, pick this thing up. It's a really good price and you'll have a lot of fun with it. So here's how you turn the Sky King on. Um, for some reason, they've decided to make it so you plug the battery in the plane first and then you turn the transmitter on. Um, so that's what we're gonna do here. Battery's plugged in, turn it on, beeps at you, and then 
give the controls a test, and it's ready to go. So today's going to be a really good test because we have about a five mile an hour breeze going on here. You can see the, the little weak grass over there shaking a little bit. Um, so, you know, nothing really strong, but uh, a little bit of a breeze. Got a nice area to fly this around. This is a nice looking model too. I think it's got the EPO foam and just looking at the quality of it in general, it looks, it looks like a larger model, you know, in terms of the, the quality and how it's built. Inside you can see the two servos that it has for controls. You've got elevator and rudder and motor. So it's just a three channel plane. It does look like it has the cutouts for ailerons if you wanted to put them on. I'm not quite sure how you would do that. Um, it, everything is so small and light, you'd have, have to have really small servos. And I'm not sure if this uh, proprietary uh, controller would actually be able to do you know, a true four channel. Um, or even if you just put on the rudder channel, maybe the ailerons linked together. So you know, maybe it's possible, but not, not as easy as I was hoping. Uh, looks kind of like a, you know, definitely a proprietary little flight control receiver, board, ESC and everything right there, but let's go ahead and give it a try. Throttle into the wind, and it just takes right off. So that's flying into the wind. It's a nice stable flyer. Yeah, I like how this flies. Now earlier, or last night, I was trying this out at nighttime. You're going to see that footage later. And I wanted to see what that was like. That was a lot of fun. I was flying at a, uh, a field that was maybe close to some Wi-Fi stuff, is my only guess, because I was occasionally getting some dropouts. Oh, just had a little dropout there. Interesting. Okay, so, you know, the, the thing is not really far from me. That So far, that's my only gripe with this plane, is that every once in a while, it has dropouts, um, so you know maybe that's just the quality of the uh, the electronics. You know, interestingly, with all the quadcopters and other really small micro stuff that I've had, I've been able to fly <laughs> really far away with those and not had dropouts. The one saving grace is that it's such a, a gentle flyer, a good flyer that if you do have a dropout, as long as you're not in a dive or anything, um, it's gonna it's gonna fly itself until you get connection again. Now being a three three channel, again we only have rudder. So what happens since you got dihedral and kind of uh, the angle on the wingtips there, when you do kick out the rudder, it does bank, it does lift a wing up. So it is definitely uh, able to kind of fly around aggressively. You just sort of have to know how to do it. You don't have the that good roll crisp roll control like you do on a four channel or a plane with ailerons. But that being said. It's a lot of fun, and it zips around pretty good. It's, you know, it's not super fast, but that's not what I'm looking for in this plane. I'm, I wanted something that I could just, is a wing over. I just wanted something that was gonna be nice and easy to fly, but fun enough. So if you know what you're doing, you can kind of fly it around aggressively. You can bank it, do some high banks, steep banks. And flight times are, are average for this kind of size of model. You know, something like, depending on how aggressive you're flying, six to eight, you know, or if you're really careful, maybe even 10 minutes. I'll put it up a little higher here, see if I can do a little bit of just kind of soaring with it to show you that. Okay, so here's, here's motor off. Let's see if we can catch some some gusts here, some ridge lift off of off these little hills. So this is all motor off. You can see it's it's flying real nice. There you go, a little little extra lift from the wind. This is all motor off. It's got a folding prop, so it cuts down on the drag when you do have the motor off. So even though based on the price of this, it's sort of like in the toy class. It definitely, it flies a lot better than just a toy grade model. An experienced pilot's gonna have fun with it. A beginner pilot is gonna have fun with it. 
And now the wind's kicking up. Now we've got almost 10 miles an hour of wind right here. And I'm still able to punch through with this. So it's got a good, uh, good range of conditions that it can fly in. I'm having a lot of fun with this. You can see the LEDs on the wings, and the fuselage and the tail. This thing is very easy to transport. I mean, I just leave it together like this. I mean, you can see relative to the size of my hands, it's not a really big model, but it requires no tools or anything. You simply just, you can slide these wings out. They have a little spar in here, give them a little bit of strength. And you know, if you slide the wings apart, you can just put them right next to the fuselage. It takes up hardly any room. But we're gonna put it up again. I'm sure it's got some battery left. Uh, this plane also does have a high and low rate, so we're going to try a little bit of flying on the high rates now. <coughs> Battery's starting a little bit at low, so this will be interesting. That's fun. Nice loop. So yeah, you can really kick this thing around if you want to in high rates. It's a lot of fun. All right, so this is always on this has always been on my bucket list to do fly a plane at night so I've got this one right here comes with LEDs so I thought I'd give it a shot and uh, so far I'm really impressed with it I mean man these things are super bright they did, did a good job on the top you've just got a couple couple lights on either side you've got tail markers and on the bottom nice and bright so I'm guessing this would be pretty easy I've never flown at night uh, so but just based on the lights here I'm thinking it should be pretty easy to fly I've already flown this in the day I already got it kind of basically trimmed out, so I know that it should fly straight, but never know. So here we go. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Nice loops. <laughs> <laughs> 